Hello everybody and welcome to my e-lesson. I'm your guru and today I'm gonna tell you uh, about the basics of Excel. So the first thing we're gonna discuss is what is a cell? Uh, well, uh, this rectangular box that you see uh, which is getting highlighted right now is called a cell. In Excel it is called a cell. It is used to enter or store a value like I'm storing a numeric you can even store uh, alphabet over here you can even store numbers over here so this is a cell and it is it has a reference address every cell has a unique address uh, which can be used uh, to enter formulas or create references like the address for this cell is e4 you see E is highlighted and 4 is highlighted over here so this is the address of this particular cell so column E row 4 same way the address of this cell would be G7 alright next we come to what is a column this vertical stack is called a column C D E F G H this is a column you can select multiple columns also just click on your left mouse button and scroll right so you can select all these together if you uh, this is how you can select a cell column see a column is a vertical stack all right top to bottom or bottom to top either which way and then how to add a column uh, all you to add a column what you need to do is click on the column header which is the C D E click here and this complete column gets highlighted and you can do a right click and insert so a new column gets added C 123 would shift now to G see this 123 as of now was an F now it is on G it is now on G it will move to H because a new column is getting inserted over here see same way we can delete a column like this click on the header select the complete column and click on delete there is one more way to enter a column uh, I add a new column is control plus see control plus I am deleting them how to delete a column well select the column and just click delete now what is a row uh, a horizontal stack of data or values is called a row from left to right we call it a row so row is six this is a row seven this is a row eight you can select multiple rows at a time also simple I have taught you how to select uh, using the mouse now we can know how to select using the keyboard <coughs> excuse me <coughs> select the row press shift and use the arrow keys to select either up or down All right. you can also select using the keyboard uh, shortcut key control space would select the column and shift space would select the row shift and space pressed together would select the row control and space pressed together will select the column you can also insert columns the way we saw earlier insert insert there is another way control plus control plus you can delete it also like this delete or control minus what is a range well a collection of cells is called a range like this collection of cells is called a range now see what is highlighted column C and rows 4 till 15 so column C 4 till 15 is a range uh, 
range ranges can be named also specifically so as of now uh, I'll not go into depth about it in my another video I have covered what is a range how to name it and how to use it in your formulas how to insert value now how to insert value in a cell can be direct one two three four a b c d sorry I mentioned I typed in q w e r <laughs> and uh, symbols this 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 and usually it is also used to denote abusive language right <laughs> and there is one more way how to insert value uh, say it is much more much more than just entering typing data Excel can do that much more for you see I'll show you something um, sorry see now I want to say insert a uh, letter B over here but I don't want to change any of these uh, numbers I want them to be shifted down automatically while I insert B over here how do I do that I click over here right click and click on insert and it gives me an option shift cell down so I click on OK these cells have shifted down and I, now I can type in B or anything else see this is so easy and there is another option to this I right click it click on insert and shift cells right so this 2 will come here this B will come here C this becomes empty see and also if I click on insert I can insert a complete row click OK a complete row gets inserted I can also insert a column insert a column OK a new column gets inserted I am pressing Control Z to undo what I have done Control Z Control is the CTRL button same way uh, we can delete delete using this shift cell up this 2 would be deleted and this 3 4 would come up see isn't it cool yes it is and what does else do delete shift cells left it will delete it and do it like this I'll bring it back delete and entire row so this complete row number six would get deleted click OK and it's gone to bring it back I'll simply press Control Z abracadabra and here it is <laughs> and you can delete a complete column also the complete column is gone see I bring it back that's what I can do I can take away things bring them back haha <laughs> <laughs> and there's one more way of deleting things and say you have selected this uh, if you want to delete it you can also click on clear contents of this sorry select this clear contents and this three is gone so if somebody says uh, delete a value from a cell without pressing delete so you now know what to do right click on that and press clear contents or if you want to do it by using a shortcut key right click and N see uh, how to and simple delete press delete and it will go like this you want to delete a row simply select a row and delete it you can press control minus or simply delete the complete data is gone and how to copy very important in Excel how to copy well copying is very very easy uh, say I've selected uh, we'll, we'll copy something else let's write something first uh, let's write uh, you are a good student see we can increase the size by clicking over here 
you are a good student so we have written this we want to copy it from here and take it to here so we will simply go here press ctrl c ctrl plus c and choose the destination by clicking the cell where we want to paste it and press ctrl v we got it now press escape to uh, unselect this now again highlight this cell right click it and click on copy see again it gets highlighted that means it's ready to be copied select the place you want to paste it right click it and click on paste there is one more way of doing it which is simply control X select the place you want to place it and click paste see this has gone from here now it was cut and paste copy and paste is control C and control V cut and paste is control X and control V so let's bring it back so this was cut copy paste how to edit data okay well to edit data in Excel uh, if you have highlighted a cell and if you slip if you think you can edit it right here well to some extent you are right and to a large extent you are wrong uh, if you start typing something new here here the old data would go away so you need to double click here double click gives you this bar cursor over here and you can type in say so I'll type in a uh, full stop so now I was able to edit it by double clicking it or simply I select this cell and go to this edit bar formula bar and now start typing anything you are a good student uh, good job now keep it up okay you want to resize it simply double click on the sign keep it up so I was able to edit it like this or oh, there is one more way you can simply select the cell and press F2 this address bar this cursor would come up now you can edit it I have deleted it see I can again resize it so this is how you can edit data how to insert a comment well how to insert a comment you simply select the place where you want to insert a comment right click it click on insert comment and type in study hard and party harder that is the motor of life hmm study hard and party harder oh huh? where's the comment gone well it is not gone it's just been hidden from direct view you see this red color indication mark over here whenever you hover your mouse over the cell this comment would show up study hard and party harder you want to make it visible permanently you can do that you can simply click on this link on this cell and it will become visible or you want to make it permanently visible you simply click on show hide comment so now it is there you can even resize it say I can resize it oh. see I can take it to a different location where it will show it is linked to this cell and I can even edit it right click the cell which is containing the comment and click on edit comment you can type in say an exclamation mark I want to hide it again so that it is visible only upon hovering the mouse so it is hidden again so I've taught you how to edit a comment also so this was our lesson on basic excel 1 there would be another lesson to basic excel 2 when we will be covering another a few more basic concepts regarding excel uh, well i hope you liked it well you can go to my website myelesson.org and you'll find that there are training videos on so many other things also i hope uh this was this session was useful to you so until the next video this is your excel guru signing off for the day have a wonderful day ahead happy learning